Oh, well, it's probably here to review the Commerce Saber DX. Um, I guess is that's its full name? Oh, well, because apparently the full name of it is the Sword Driver Hisatsu Holder, but I just call, I just always called it the Hisatsu Holder and the Jakunto Dominoki on the Ride Book set. And there's no set, so. Incorrectisms. Anyways, this is our typical holder toy for the year. However, with a twist. To which, um, we will get to later. So, as you can see here, the Hisats holders, Jakunto, Dominoki, Saber Brave Dragon. There he continues. This box is huge. This is unnecessarily huge. Um, here we get, uh, the Wonder Combo Dragon Jakun. Um, the top, not really much. And it, this explaining stuff. And oh no, a spoilers! Watch how people are gonna claim me for hating on Saber, despite explaining multiple times I've still yet to watch the series. <laughs> so obviously here we have the Wonder Ride book. We don't need this. Um, because for, as of now we're focusing on the Hisats holders. Um I kind of wish they had a better name of it, to be honest, like, because really, the only reason why it's called the Hisatsu Holder is specifically for this one. Um, this slot is like the typical holder. It It's just meant to hold your Wonder Ride books, and I actually really do like the colors this is cast in. It's red, black, silver. Um, the only paint here, and then obviously it has a Wonder Language, which I can't read has some suspicious stuff here um belt clips yeah and it's just stacked interestingly so you can just take your wonder ride book and slot in and the neat feature they had is that they actually have blocks molded in so then they can hold in so then they hold the button in and do the insertion sound like that's neat and all but uh you know <laughs> like like that's neat it was, it was a feature they didn't need to do but i like the interactivism so um that's it for this one and with this one obviously it's way more suspicious looking um it's it still tries to capture the same design it's just that it's done heavily different because it's not you know cut here however you can still insert a wonder red book so we go we'll insert peter fantasy still or not um However, this slide tend to just this one tends to just forcefully open up my ride books, just because you know that's how they are. So just like so. Obviously, the speaker is muffled, but and the you know the block that presses in is not as thin or it's not as thick because of this next thing. To which, um, before we get to that, um, let's bring in the sword driver and have penguin fall. But let's just clip this in the side, like so, and here it is. Like, I really do like it does actually stand it up, but it just now kind of, like, the back kind of gets raised and such. But other than that, um, basically the reason why I brought it out is because I needed to bring out the Kaiken Recta. To which, obviously this thing's called the Hisatsu Holder. And that's because it can... This thing can activate an additional finisher within 
the secant itself. So, um, obviously there's this slot in here, and then we can take our secant and slot it in, like so. So here's the secant slotted within the holder, to which I should have actually probably brought in. Probably should have just kept the driver in frame, just then you guys can have an idea of how this looks. So like that. But to activate the finisher, just simply press the trigger. As you can see, it will just do the same stuff and just pull it out. So there you get the finisher with the Sut holder. Um, unlike the Kimawaza slot, it's obviously because this is already manually programmed, it's not going to do anything new. And obviously that's with the Kaiken Rekka. We can do that with the CC Kanagari. So here it is, like so. And same process. And pull it out. It's the same exact attack sound, it's just that different colors. So, nothing spectacular, but it's nice that it actually does like acknowledge the element. So, yeah, that's essentially it for this one. You cannot slot in, cannot slot in a Wonder Ride book. Um, when you have a Seiken inserted. And essentially how this works is that because the sword driver does press this, however, um, this thing does not have a trigger thing that presses it. So it actually has a, another NFC reader, as you can see from the circle down there. It has an NFC reader that specifically reads it from here, because there's three sensors on the Seiken. So when you raise it from here, you can hear that and it raising. Because as I raise it up to the wonder mark and then the the middle mark, it won't activate. But it only activates at the first sensor. So yeah, um, that's essentially it. For this thing so let's get to the wonder ride book because i already forgot about that thing so here we have the wonder ride book jakun to dominoki and as you can see the main base color here is this uh like metallic green it's showing up to be lighter on camera but it's getting whitewashed um there's the cover jakun to dominoki which is interesting, this one's another story one, just like Peter Fantasista. Wonder Mark. Um, here's the inside cover, which I can't, I really can't make out what that's supposed to be. And the transformation page, I, I really like this. Because uh, obviously this is the jack arm. And it has like a vine whip, which is really cool. And... Uh, you have the shoulder pad for Saber, which I, I really like, uh, the jack um, half. Activation. This one's actually hard. <laughs> I try my best not to cover the speaker, and I forgot to cover this, the QR code for Domba Rising. And if you were to ask me, I don't know what specifically the Wonder Ride books do in Domba Rising. I think they just allow you, 
I think they're just used for attacks. So, like, if you scan Peter Fantasista with Saber, he's just going to do an attack with Peter Fantasista. So, yeah. So, um, I am using the Kaiken Rekka because technically there's no associated fighter with Jack Kunto Dominoki. As we're going to see later. So, obviously, just slot it in. So. So there's the transformation for Jakun to Dominoki, which it actually falls under the generic Wonder Rider jingle because this isn't associated with any of the elements we've had because this one's Earth because of spoilers. Uh, so, um, you know, the jingle is just simply Wonder Rider, then it'll just say the name of the book and then it'll have a generic uh, description for the slot is in. So because this one's a story one, it will say like, so it will say Doa, which is story. Uh, and then, um, it would just say something generic about that story. Or about a generic story description. Obviously we can still do the wonder attacks. Uh, the finishers, so the Hisatsu Geki. Obviously, it's just simply, here's phrase here, or here's, like, the base phrase, and then here's name of book, and then such. Now, he sets a giri. So, yeah. Now to do the um, attacks, again, we're just going to do all three. <laughs> to which, um, this is the thing I never got to show before. Um, whenever you use a Wonder Ride book that's a different color, from the respective emblem you use, it does this nice transition back to the color it was before. I really like that and such. Now, it's time for us to show a function with the sword driver, to which is when you mix two books that aren't connected. So, obviously, when we put Lion Senki and Peter Fantasista together, because these two are actually together, they did a entirely new jingle. But now we need to experience what happens if you put genericism together. So then now we're experiencing a slot without a middle. <laughs> so. So here, now we finally have Saber Dragon Jakun, to which this still looks horrible because there's like a gap here. Like only from like this angle here you can think that this will correlate, but honestly, look, I think I'm, I'm at least okay with this because we're not missing any limbs. You at least have both arms. But I don't, I, the thing here is that I just don't like the gap missing. But I, I like these two together, honestly. Obviously, you can do the wonder attack.
don't recall if he ever did that. I, I think literally Blades did it with two books once. Now with the finishers, Hisatsugeki. It's the same format as these two. Now the Hisatsugiri. And then um, the sword attack, which uh, I should bring this one up because this is also something I haven't shown off. So when you scan two books in, you know, two different colors, so obviously Brave Dragon to red, Jack Kun's green. Obviously it actually stays on the color you scan it on. However, when I actually execute the finisher, It, uh, not parallels, but it switches between the two. It switches between the two colors, which I really like. And obviously, if we really want to push it, Now there, it switches between the three colors, which is pretty impressive, because I really like the in-between state of how, when it actually transitions between colors, because just because it's pretty. So obviously, because I showed Jakun, now I actually have to do uh, the one he did next, which was Peter Fantasy stuff. It's the same thing at the end. Uh, to cancel a transformation, or like to cut it, cut it, just press the trigger button. So um, you're just gonna get the same stuff. So nothing really spectacular. So yeah, overall, what I think about this set is that it's it's pretty neat for how they were trying to shake this up. Uh, just because I do think the Hisatsu holders are pretty interesting. I just like how they actually trigger a sound within the gimmick. Just because, you know, the Saber's technically the first one in a while. For, like, the Wonder Red books are the first since, I want to say, the Lock Seeds. We've had a gimmick that actually had the, no, Gashats. <laughs> like, like, the ride books are the first gimmick since Gash Hats that we had, like, a gimmick that actually had the insertion and, you know, taking out sound in them. So, for them to actually incorporate that, it's pretty neat. The Kimawaza slot holder technically did that, too. But, obviously, for this case, the books aren't that um, packed, so they're not going to do that. Uh, Jack Kunto Dominoki is a pretty neat one to ride book. I actually, it's probably actually one of my favorite ones. Uh, so, um, honestly, I, I just really like the story ones because I just like how they change up, how they try to change up the story to, you know, avoid copyright. And I'll just do a com quick comparison. I think these are the exact same um, pieces. Yeah, uh, so the holders are the exact same from the uh, progress key holders. Um, I don't know... If the progress keys, or the progress key holders, are retooled from something else, I do not have the full bottle holder on me. But I'm pretty sure those, I'm pretty sure the progress key holders are definitely new pieces. But other than that, um, it's a pretty neat set overall. Obviously, it 
you know, adds a new sound for your Seiken. Uh, you know, Jack Control Domnoki, you can do a bunch of stuff with it. And yeah, there's just a bunch you can do with this. Uh, this, I think, is kind of the one of the more harder sets to just pick up. Because I think this goes around for like about like 18 to like $22 at best. So, um, you know, your mileage, your mileage may vary on your success of getting this. So this is Power Rider, and I'll leave you people.